Welcome back friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology and in this video I am going to tell you how exactly you can remember the name of all the amino acids and not only the names but also to understand their function and it will take less than 5 minutes to do that so if you want to remember amino acids name and their function you need to know only very few things what are they? first of all you need to know uh, some art, an art loving guy known as Bapan and the second thing is uh, a sister fighting with each other third thing is a fat tire and the fourth thing professor meeting president so these are totally weird up you know all these things but still they are going to help you understand all the amino acid names and their functions and actually not the functions in terms of their properties so let's start so this is the list that I'm talking about you know it is really really difficult if I tell you to write this list not exactly the structures but if I tell you to name all this based on their property like non-polar, polar, charged, positive charge, negative charge, aromatic it is really a, a difficult process to do now to solve this process quite easy way what we did is simply you need to remember the name of a Bengali guy its name is you know you need to first of all understand four separate stories okay it's not three it's four, actually four separate stories the first story is based on one Bengali guy as I told you the name is Bapan and why I'm telling you is the first story about Bapan because it says it's a name it's it's a very common name in here so B stand for basic A stand for acidic P stands for polar A stands for aromatic and M stands for non-polar so these are this five separate types of amino acid properties okay so that's what we're going to study now we are going to look at each of this type and we're going to remember the list of amino acids that are placed in there so that gives us the first idea of the story regarding the Bapan and his art that's why I tell you this is kind of cool art drawn by Bapan so it says Bapan loves his art as God so what does that mean you know uh, it will include all the basic amino acids you know lysine histidine arginine that's why you know if you look at these sentences I I've, I've wrote them down because in terms of the capital letter the capital letter signifies the start letter of that three letter code of amino acids so lysine, histidine, arginine and acidic amino acids example as God so A aspartic acid G glutamic acid so just by knowing L Bapan loves his art as God you simply know what are the basic and acidic amino acids out there that's quite easy isn't it now let's move on to the next the next story is about mad girl Sarah so you know Sarah always fight with her sister and this is one such example you need to remember Sarah throws her sister actually I wrote, wrote it CIS because it it is very uh, similar with that amino acid cysteine but actually it's sister although it's homophonic Sarah throws her sister to get aspirin that's what it's all about so this is it Sarah throws her sister to get aspirin now in this case uh, you start with S E serine TH threonine uh, and then you know capital C so cysteine in here uh, G glycine and A A S P so in this case what asparagine so all these amino acids are listed which are polar in nature that means they can produce a soluble part of a protein now story number three is all about a fat tire that's why I, I took the picture of this really fat tired cycle in this case I, I wrote it as a fee instead of FAT I wrote it PHAT because you know it linked with one of our aromatic amino acids so it's all about A for aromatic amino acid and the example PH so phenylalanine T capital T for tyrosine another capital T is for tryptophan so these are the three aromatic amino acids that we have and ultimately the last one the last one is very important in this case and the last one is all about the non-polar amino acids okay so what we see in the last one it's all about professor Liu is arrived at a valley ground to meet president actually I modified the uh, pronunciation in few portions so that it fits with the naming of amino acids although all of these are homophonic in sound so again story number four professor Liu and the president so professor Liu is arrived at valley ground to meet the president so start with capital P and, and it will it will go right like that so what are the list is saying in this case in this case if you begin with 
capital p you know remember the same thing capital letters denotes the first letter of the three letter code of the amino acids that's what it's all about so what we can see in here is uh, if you look at uh, this capital p so capital p is proline capital l and actually is leucine so l u is leucine i is capital of the s so isoleucine a uh, is also linked with it so in this case a will be alanine and uh, capital v will be valine and actually it's valet so val valine capital g is glycine and capital m in this case methionine and says met so methionine obviously so you can see all the non polar amino acids are listed proline leucine alanine valine isoleucine glycine and methionine so these are the list of non polars so i believe till now you've understood all these four stories and if you remember these four stories although they are scattered they're not related but still you can understand the name of all those different amino acids and not only their amino acid names but also they are chemical properties so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that thank you